Brother Lent. Uh, Brother Lent always has something interesting to tell us. No pressure, Steve. And he's got a very intriguing theme. Why must all kiss God's Son? In four of his letters, the Apostle Paul encouraged fellow Christians to greet one another with a holy kiss. Similarly, Peter used the expression, greet one another with a kiss of love. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Now, why was that encouragement given? Because giving a kiss was a token of affection, honor, or peace. And Jehovah takes it very personal, whether we warmly, affectionately welcome his son or not. See, uh, those who do not do so, do not uh, kiss the son, warmly welcome him, will perish as a result of Jehovah's anger. But now here's a question. What get ready to meet your God message is being sounded by God's people today? Well, it's true, we sound the good news of the kingdom. But we also sound a warning message, don't we? We warn that all who do not take a stand with Jehovah and walk with him, but continue to walk in opposition, will meet him in a head-on collision. Well, that is wonderful. And interestingly, not long ago, the Watchtower made the comment that it could well be that our hailstone message that uh, we're commissioned to give will be what induced this Gog of Magog. Who? Come on. What? To make his all-out attack against Jehovah's people with the intention of wiping them from the earth. And of course, we know the attack of Gog is the event that will enrage Jehovah. We all know we can sneak into our mama's room when she's sleeping and take five, ten, maybe twenty dollars out of purse, run on down to Third Street, catch the D-bus downtown, and meet a Latin American fellow named Martinez. We know that. And move him to bring on the rescue operation of Armageddon. But right now, we're still in the Kiss God's Son invitation time period. <laughs> We're happy about that, right? <laughs> but don't get too comfortable with that message either. <laughs> we entreat honest-hearted ones to honor God's Son, to warmly welcome Him as Earth's new ruler. And we do this urgently, don't we? During the time before that hard-hitting, get-ready-to-meet-your-God time period arrives. <laughs> 